welcome to our section about divisibility rules. In this video, we're going to learn what is a prime number, what is a composite number. We're also going to learn the divisibility rules, and then we're going to learn how to reduce fractions. Let's start. First, let's understand what is a prime number. A prime number can be divided evenly only by one or itself. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17 are prime numbers. As you can see here, I can only divide 11 by 1 or 11. I can only divide 17 by 1 or 17, and so on. The number 2 is the only even prime number. Let's go ahead and continue. A composite number is the opposite. It's when a number can be divided up evenly. For example, 4, 18, 24, and 100. They can be divided by 2. This guy can be divided by 2, by 3, by 6, and so on. So let's go ahead and learn the divisibility rules to see how we can get this easier. First, the divisibility rule by 2. The last digits must be an even number. For example, 0, 4, uh, 8, and so on. Let's see. Is 312 divisible by 2? You tell me. It is divisible by 2 because the last digit is even. As you can see here, 2 is even. Let's do another one. Oops, that went very fast. <laughs> is 1406 divisible by 2? And the answer is yes, because as you can see here, the number is even. This one, 450,988. Is that divisible by 2? And I hope you say yes. Finally, is 5,679 divisible by 2? Just look at your last digit and I can see that. The answer is no. Let's learn the divisibility rule of 3. The sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Let's do an example. Again, 312. How do I know if this number is divisible by 3? I just add the digits. 3 plus 1 plus 2. And I'm going to get 6. As you can see here, 6 is divisible by 3 because 6 divided by 3 is actually 2. Therefore, if you divide this number by 3, you're going to get a number that has no remainder. Let's do another one. And it seems that this goes really fast the first time. But 1,401, is that divisible by 3? Let's see why the answer is yes. Well, 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. As you can see here, the addition of all the digits gives me 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. What about this one? Well, remember, just add the digits. Let's do it together. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 6 is going to be 15, and 15 plus 7 is going to be 22. Therefore, it's 4,567 divisible by 3, and I hope you say no. One more. Is 5,679 divisible by 3? And you tell me. Just add 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 and tell me if that's divisible by 3. And I'm going to wait for your answer. Da, 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 and I hope you say yes. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. And then um, 18 plus 9 is actually going to be um, 27. Therefore, yes, it is divisible by 3. What is the divisibility rule by 4? The last two digits have to be divisible by 4. For example, 12, 16, and 24. Let's see what that means. Again, 312. Is 312 divisible by 4? I look at the last two digits and I see that, yes, it is divisible by 4. Because 4 times 3 is going to be 12. Therefore, this number is divisible by 4. Let's see the last one. 1,406 divisible by 4. Well, is the last two digits divisible by 4? I hope you say no. 6 is not divisible by 4. Let's do another one. 456. Just look at the last two digits. Do you think 56 is divisible by 4? And I hope you say yes, because if you divide 56 by 4, and let's just do it here really quick, you're going to get 
uh, here this is one, then I get a here four, then I get a one here, lower this one here, and then four. Therefore, yes, he's divisible by four. Obviously, in this number, it will just be easy just to divide it by four, the whole thing. But if you had a really large number, you just do the last two digits. For example, like this one, it's 5,678 divisible by four. Well, let's divide 78 by four. And again, I just do four, 78. And then I do, um, this is gonna be one. Then I'll get four here. Seven minus, seven minus four is three. And finally, I lower the eight. And I don't believe there is a number that will fit. Therefore, the answer has to be no. Divisibility by five. This is a, one of the most important rules and it's actually the easiest one. You just have to look at the last digit and if it's five or zero, yes, it's divisible by five. Let's do some examples. Again, 310, is that divisible by five? The answer is yes, because as you can see, this guy is divisible by five because the last digit is zero. What about this guy here? Well, pretty easy. The answer is yes. What about this guy here? Pretty easy. The answer is no. And the last one, I hope you say yes. Let's just move on. Divisibility by six. And I promise you, we're almost done. The number is divisible by two and three at the same time. Look how easy. For example, 312. We've seen that this number before was divisible by two and three. Therefore, because he's divisible by two and three, I know that he's also divisible by six. What about this one, 1,405? I can already say no, because remember, it must be divisible by the two and three together. Five is the last digit. Since it's not an even number, it's not divisible by two. So I can already say no. What about here? Well, my first rule is true. He's divisible by two. Now I need to add this and figure it out if he's divisible by three. The rule tells me to add the digits and I go four plus five is nine. Nine plus six is 16. 16 plus eight is 24. Because 24 is divisible by three, that means that, yes, this guy is divisible by six. One more. Well, I have the first rule because it's divisible by two. Now I need to figure it out if it's divisible by six. I'm gonna do it with you. Five plus six is 11. 11 plus seven is 18. And 18 plus six is gonna be 24. So the answer is yes. You're gonna ask me, Vanessa, what about seven and eight? There are really no rules for seven and eight, and the most important rules are gonna be two, three, five, and six. Let's do the last one, divisibility by nine. It's just exactly like divisibility by three. The sum of the digits is equal to a multiple of nine. For example, is 315 divisible by nine? I'm gonna go ahead and add the digits, and I go three plus one is four, four plus five is nine. As you can see, if I divide, 315 by 9, I will get a remainder 0. Let's do another one. And let's see, is 1,440 divisible by 9? All right, let's figure out why this is yes. 1 plus 4 is 5, 0, and then here I have 9, therefore yes. Let's do this one. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16, 16 plus 8 is going to be 24, since 24 is not divisible by 9, the answer is no. What about this one? Again, 5 plus 6, 11, 18, and the answer is yes. Go ahead, and if you want, you can go ahead, um, you can actually do this like with a calculator and just see how easier, knowing the divisibility rules, you're going to be using the calculator less and less. Love it. Now let's practice. How do I now reduce these fractions? Well, knowing the divisibility rules is just basically gonna help you to reduce fractions in an easier way. If I wanna reduce the fractions, I need to remember that whatever I do to the top has to be done to the bottom. 
Well, here I can figure it out that these two numbers are actually divisible by two because as you can see here, the last two digits here are even. So when I divide it by two, I get that 26 divided by two is 13. 36 divided by two is actually 18. I'm sorry, 26 divided by two is 13 and the other one is 18. Now, can I reduce more? Well, no, because 13 is a prime number. So that's it, this is my final answer. What about this one? Can I divide 12 and 45 by two? Well, no, because this guy is two, that means he's divisible by two. But as you can see here, 45 is not. Therefore, I need to figure it out another number that I can divide them both by. All right, let's try the three. Let's figure it out if 12 is divisible by three. One plus two is three. That means that three is divisible by three, so it's yes. Four plus five is nine. So yes, both numbers are divisible by three. So I can just go ahead and divide 12 by three and 45 by three. When I do the reduction, I get that my last answer is four over 15. I cannot do more because as you can see here, four is only divisible by two and four, but 15 is only divisible by five. So that's my final answer. What about the last one, 35 and 46? Well, I'm gonna see, can I divide it by two? No, I cannot because this guy here. Can I divide it by three? Let's try it. Three plus five is eight. 35 is not divisible by three. Four plus six is 10. 10 is not divisible by three. I can see here that I don't have any other option. Therefore, my last answer is just the same. 35 over 46.